Okay, so I'm here. I've got my new skate wheels, my new bearings, and I'm trying to put them together. <coughs> As you can probably tell, <coughs> I'm a bit tired. These are the hardest bearings to get into skate wheels I've ever seen. Uh, they go in eventually in the front with extraordinary effort. As yet, I cannot get a single bearing to fit in the back of the wheel. Uh, and it's disturbing me a lot that if you look in the back of the green-black sim, you can see that rim there where the bearing would come to rest, right? Just seated inside the back of the wheel. Some of them appear to only have half a rim for the bearing to sit on. I can't imagine this camera is going to pick it up but it looks like they've been mismolded so half of the rim is there and half of the rim is missing uh, and I don't know if that means they're gonna wear my bearings out extra quick or if my bearings are even gonna sit in them if they'll just warp when I finally if I do actually get them in the um, cup but it's ridiculous. I am 36 years old. I am not without strength. Uh, those skates down there, I fitted those the other day with their bearings, did it all by hand. Uh, and then for extra reinforcement, I used the blunt end of a screwdriver and just push. These, to get them in the front, it's taking literally everything I've got. Look, I'm marking my hands up, pushing these bearings in. <laughs> Uh, and they're ridiculous and as yet like I say I can't get one to sit in the back so perhaps they're all gonna come out again but I thought I'd make a video at least I mean I'm starting to think that my roller bones bearings and my sims uh, street snake wheels might be different sizes like the size of the wheel might be 8 millimeter and the size of the bearing might be 10 I would be gutted to find that out, especially as neither one of them stay a size, which isn't terribly helpful. So that was my video update. I'll let you know if I get them all done. Okay, update. Uh, I am almost drawing blood getting these things or trying to get these things to go in. Um, it is ridiculous uh, and I'm fairly desperate. I don't have a bearing press. I've never needed one. I can't imagine that a bearing press would make these bearings fit. They are just not going in. How these three went in uh, and now I've just tried for an age on this one to get the same bearing to go in the front and it just won't go in. It just won't sit. Uh, so, in desperation, I am going to put these wheels in the airing cupboard and I'm going to try and heat them up and see if that gives them that little bit more flex. Uh, that might be a desperate move, but these are desperate times. I'll let you know how it goes. Right, in my desperation, I turned to see if my airwaves wheels would be any different and I have managed to fit this into my airwave wheel in three seconds uh, there was no you know excessive force required um, obviously I'm considering desperate options I genuinely don't know how to get these bearings into these sims wheels um, I'm, at a, I'm at a bit of an impasse so again if I can think of anything and if I can get this to work I will update you Right, back again. <sighs> I think I found a way to do it, but I don't like it and it's making me nervous. So I'm going to explain it before I do it. Uh, as you can see, I have dropped my um, more expensive Royal Bones bearings and I'm using these ABEC ones as experimentals. The soft casing on the Roller Bones, the black thing there, that comes out very easily. Uh, these are, uh, well, this particular ABEC bearing is a sealed um, so I've been using it as a kind of dummy to fit in 
and the only way I can get these to fit in front or back on most of these wheels um, I don't know if you can see there right on the inside there's like flakes of material the the bearing would not go in at all and the only way I could seat it was to hit it in there put the this is the dead screwdriver I don't care about put that on there so it was resting solely on that inner circle if it was resting like this was the problem I was having with the roller bones I pushed one of the black casings in uh, too hard um, trying to get the bearing in uh, so I'm using this which rounded and the right size just about it will sit on this inner circle here and it will push it in because I'm holding it flat or as flat as possible on there I'm actually holding it on my leg uh, holding it central holding it flat and then on the tip here I am using a mallet uh, and the first time I got this bearing to sit in this wheel that material there that you can just about see it kind of peeled off ever so slightly like this thin layer of it um, so I am hazarding a guess that these wheels have been mismolded by a fraction um, but that fraction seems to make a difference so I don't know if anyone else has had this problem but it is a definite problem for me it has taken trial and error to the extreme and obviously seating your bearings in the wheel by mashing them in with a hammer and a screwdriver is not normal um, it's a tad worrying so before I actually go all the way I'm probably going to use my experimental bearing and hammer it into the wheel on both sides of every wheel and then take it out again uh, and then kind of try and make the space in the wheel and then I'll see if my better bearings uh, will actually sit in so that's my plan that's what I'm doing I'll let you know how it goes further evidence this is the kind of thing this black strip that's coming out after I hammer my useless bearing in what's well, useless it's ABIC one basically the same thing after I hammer it in I bring it out and I get these strips of material and I can't help but think the Sims Street Snakes build quality uh, the quality control isn't exactly top notch which is a shame beyond belief for me because I have been waiting so long to get a pair of Sims on skates that I own uh, and then when they came today I was so excited and now like, I've finally got these four fitted front and back uh, and I've got a few more to do but this is the only way it's being done and it's such a pain in the backside to have to hammer a bearing in then pry it out flip the wheel hammer the bearing in pry it out and then get the actual decent bearings and then push them in and once this bearing has gone in I can use this uh, pressed into the wheel in my hand and push it in but it takes an extraordinarily great amount of effort compared to um, fitting these bearings into any other wheel that I've ever fitted in so there we are hopefully the next update is me completing this right this is borderline the success video right they're all done but can you see the depth that, that bearing sits in the wheel. See the way there's like just that like millimeter or so, half millimeter. I don't know. I don't measure in millimeters. But there's that little bit of depth to where the bearing sat in at the back of the wheel. Um, and then on this one, like it's even less, right? So these bearings, even after I've hammered, essentially this one in to make the space um, when these bearings go in they don't quite go in in a natural way so I'm about to take a screwdriver and mallet to this one again like this one but look at that excess material around the edge of the bearing can you see that just down the bottom there that's what I'm fighting against here 
but I've managed to get them in and if you hold them and spin them which I can't really do with one hand very well but they're in and they're spinning and they spin these bearings are absolutely beautiful but my goodness me these wheels have been a hassle like this has taken me it should by hand just push, pushing them in by thumb like I do with all the other wheels should have taken me what a maximum of uh, I'd say 15 minutes at a push a real push this has probably taken me closer on two hours to figure out how to get them in um, and obviously I mean that is not ideal right um, so yeah let me know if you've had sims street skates uh, what are they called sims street snakes uh, especially the black and green because I know different wheels like have different issues but just phenomenally hard work ridiculously hard work <laughs> um, so hopefully my skates will get here soon and then I'll be able to fit them with wheels that actually have bearings in so that's nice Here we go, finished product and the wheels and the bearings, I mean the wheels and the wheels. Um, compared to my airwaves I've only run them in my kitchen which I realise isn't the best test ever um, but the wheels are really grippy. I don't know if that's because maybe I've used the airwaves like a bit more and they've had a bit more, I mean I've used them outside. I cleaned them afterwards, um, but I don't know, maybe it's just the difference between brands, um, but the Sims are way grippier, like noticeably grippier than the uh, Airwaves, even though they're the same Durama on the 78A. Um, so maybe what they used to say about Sims being the best wheels still holds true, which is kind of nice to think about. Um, yeah, I haven't had much of a skate on these yet. Different boot. I haven't used a bow boot in, uh, I'm going to say about 20 years. It's been a while. Um, different kind of toe stop, which I'm not used to. I'm going to have to start carrying a tool that will fit that. Um, but skates, pre-made. Uh, well, apart from the wheels and bearings, which obviously I did myself to my hassle. Uh, all from Ollie's Skate Shop. And I have to say, I like them. But, yep, that's my journey from bearings in a box to completed skates. Hope you enjoyed it. Farewell.